Hi guys, it's Taff. Welcome to Farming Simulator 2013. On my last video, I did ask whether or not you'd prefer to, for me to continue on the Hagenstead realistic mod, or whether or not you'd prefer me to start a new game on the Old Brook Farm. Now, I've got a couple of votes, both going for the Old Brook Farm, so that's what we're going to do. Let's start a new career. Start hard. Old Brook map. Go! The Old Brook map V2 has been designed by the OEB Modding and is a large estate farm comprising of acres of prime farmland in a landscape of rolling hills and tight and twisting roads right on the edge of the coast. It has medium to large fields which are already ploughed and fertilised and there is plenty of machinery to get you started. The water mod and yield mods are included and there are plenty of sail points across the map but warned the hedges all have collisions, withering is also off. Oh, it's a bit disappointing. I quite like the uh, the pressure you have when the crops wither, but never mind. Um, there are three farmyards. The main Old Brook farmyard is the home of the arable with the dairy, with the dairy next door and the sheep farm across the road. Whilst the large pig farm to the south on the hill with some stunning views, there is also a big BGA plant which helps meet the energy demands of the village and surrounding area. Okay, let's start. We fell from the sky, and here we are. Um, we've got two fields, six and nine, which are growing, and we have barley and corn in them. So while we are uh, explore the farm, let's just um, stick that on, so uh, they'll they'll you know they'll ripen up quicker, so we can uh, we can get moving. So here we are. This is the water, so we can get some water from there. She's lovely. We got our seed storage there and um, and fertilizer and stuff like that here we got the um, a telegraph a telegraph a telephone box uh, with bits and pieces there's a question mark over here in our lovely house and garden we've got some sort of mushroom infestation okay welcome this is your new farm follow the gravel path to the left to the main area where you'll find some more introductory tips All right I think that's just the main the main um, from the main map so don't worry about that Here's our one cockerel who's wandering around our garden, but here's the chicken pen right next door, so that's fine. We're obviously having problems keeping them at bay. Uh, the big shed in the middle has the silos in it, so we've got canola, barley, big storage area, and we've got the tipping point in the middle. And we should have corn and wheat, yes we do, fantastic. Uh, we've got a fuel tank there, we've got some oil drums over there, which I'm not sure what's in them. We've got loads of crap. And a, uh, a skip. That's the entrance to the um, to the farm, and we have our two fields. So we've got field six here, which is the the barley. She's looking lovely, and we've got our corn in over here in uh, field nine. And look, oh, we've got a castle on the hill, and a lighthouse. Wow, quite quite the spot, isn't it? Quite the spot for the uh, for the photos. Go on. Ah. Oh, that's oh, right. We can walk through it. That's fine. Okay, brilliant. Storage. We've got. Oh well, we've got a couple of um, cedars here. We got corn cedar, and we got um, uh, 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 just a seed seed drill. We got big old plow, a couple of um, cultivators, a couple of um, sprayers, or a sprayer and a front tank, uh, a tipper trailer, a baler, uh, uh, a bale trailer, a um, a cutter trailer. Or header trailer. We've got a nice combine here. We've got the Dutzfar 7545. And we've got corn and wheat cutters, which is brilliant. Wow, we really do have a good starting equipment on this map, don't we? Some storage areas. We've got a big barn here. What we got in this barn? Um, oh, straw. So we stick some straw in there. Brilliant. Um, what we got in this big barn here? Okay, this is where we dump our potatoes and sugar beets, which is fantastic. And uh, ah, this is where we collect, we we load them onto trailers at the back. Fantastico! Let's just hop onto this wall and fall down here. We've got wow, we got two Hurleyman, two Hurleyman XL one thirties. We've got Dutz far there, and we've got a Schluter. Fantastic! We've got some good equipment to start with. Um, so that's our well, that's the main farm anyway with the house. Over here looks to be the dairy. Um, oh yeah, very much so. We've got the um, 
the fields here with the dip, the milker. We've got um, manure pile. We've got what's up here? Some sort of go kart ramp. No, it's obviously still on offload some stuff. Uh, we've got a very grand gateway, haven't we? Wow, look at that! Look at that for a grand gateway. Our, our house really doesn't. It's not the manor house that those gates really sort of um, show off. Got a couple of feed troughs, and obviously this is where the cow shed is. Oh, brilliant! Now this is really nice little setup, isn't it? Well, I say little, it's massive. Yeah, big old silage, a uh, big old water fertilizer, water fertilizer. What am I talking? Liquid manure, <laughs> water fertilizer, liquid manure. Yeah, yeah. Nice old um, wooden rickety cart there. Fantastic. More storage areas. Brilliant. Wow. Okay, so this is this is quite the farm. Can we jump through the hedge? Oh, we jump over the hedge, and we're back in the farm. Brilliant. Hop over the wall because I'm a very athletic farmer, and we're back. Right. So a quick look at the the map. Let's, oh, let's hang on. Let's have a look at this map because it's it's a bit better. Um. So here we are. So that's the dairy, and we got the sheep farm down the road. Oh, we didn't go and look at the sheep. The sheep farm's over the road actually. So we'll um we'll cross the road now and go and have a look at the sheep farm. We got paddock there. We got paddock there. We got paddock there. We got the freight and port yard there. Freight yard and port, should I say? Petrol station. <laughs> Dealership, farm shop, we've got the inn over there. This looks to be some sort of creek or something. Uh, these are our two fields here. Uh, we've got the garden centre, the bale sale, uh, the biogas plant, wool sale, pig farm, and pig sale. Fantastic. Okay, and, and the mill over there. So let's just um, hop over the road. Let's just switch that off. Let's just grab our little tractor here, and we'll just drive across the road, and we'll go and have a look at the uh, the sheep farm. Okay, almost drove straight into that. Well, I kind of did, but uh, look both ways. It's it's good to go. Hop over the look at that for a grand gateway, eh? Wow. Ah, oh, brilliant. As if by magic the gate opens and we're here. This is the Oh. How do we get in to the sheep? Uh so we're in the sheep field. Uh okay, let's just park here and we'll nip over here. So we got the sheep will go in here. Wow, this is a nice little setup. The wool will probably go there. Loads of store. Ah, oh, we can put wool on here, can't we, to keep it dry? <gasps> what a superb thing! Brilliant! I love that. Uh, we've got loads of. Ah, oh, there you go. Forage, silage, straw, grass. All oh, right, brilliant. We can dump all our crap there. And we've got some um, cedar and fertilizer stuff there as well. And a fuel tank. Wow! This is a nice setup. Um, oh, look at this old little beast. What is this? Oh, we can't get in it. What about the forklift? No, we can't get in the forklift either. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Uh, we've got more stylets, more silage storage, and more storage there. Brilliant. What we got? I can see. I can see what looks to be the back of a forage wagon over there. So let's just have a look around here. Got a couple of old tires. Nothing between the two barns. And, oh, we got we got another tractor. We got another Hurleyman. We got some mowers, front and back, and we've got a um, a uh, a forage wagon. Fantastic! Wow. I mean, when they say that you've got enough equipment to get started, I mean, wow, you have got enough equipment to do everything. Uh, and we still got just oh, twenty-four and a half grand in the bank. Wow. Uh, brilliant. Where'd I park the tractor? Okay. Hop over the gate. Uh, hop over there. Let's get back in the tractor. So this is where the sheep go. Wow. Whoa. Look at me. Evil Knievel. Uh, check the road. We're okay. Back to the farm. Open says me. Go. Brilliant! Oh, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. I'll, I'll confuse the hell out of myself. I'll get lost, no doubt. What's over there? 
we've got like a big old um, freight container over there. But here we are, back to the farm. Brilliant. Now, you may have noticed when I skipped through, there was a... Where was it? Here we are. We got a little front loader. Let's drop out the front loader. And this is this is this must be the pig farm, is it? This is the pig farm. Okay. So we got loads of storage area, um, fuel. We got we got a big old silage type um, storage area. A couple of round bales, which are probably just um, for visual. A couple of empty skips. Yep, empty wood pile, fertilizer. Ah, here we go. Look. Oh. Well, we got our front lifter um, as our bale fork there and our silage fork there. Not sure what the what's happened to the bale fork. It's on the seed bags for some reason. Um, oh, we've got another look. We've got another forage, um, forage silage, straw, and grass. Oh, and right near the um, the lighthouse by the looks of it. Look, a uh, little bungalow down there. We've got. What's that noise? Oh, oh it's pigs. Okay. We've got another little clapped out tractor there, and let's go and have a look at the pigs, pig sty. So we've got two of these. Look at the piggies! They're not animated, but they're <laughs> but they're, 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 there are piggies, so that's fine. It's quite cool. And we've got to feed them, and we've got a uh, potato storage there. The hell? It's a funny noise from that pig. And we've got uh, a couple of... I'm not sure what they are. I'm sure you'll tell me. What we've got up here? Oh, we've got more pigs. We've got some um, pigs in the wild. Or maybe that's a recovery pin. A pen, I don't know. Or a breeding pen, I'm not sure. But yeah, we've got a couple of... A um, couple of lots of... Uh, uh, or two... What's that say on it? Stop, stop. I'm trying to read that sign. Oh, it's too blurred. I can't see it anyway. Uh, so we've got... Yeah, we've got two... Pig styes, which we need to get some food in the uh, in the troughs, and they'll start producing. Wow! And there's not much else on here. It's quite a open piece of land, but we can definitely start to fill that up, which is great. Okay, so that's the pig sty. We're back at the farm, and uh, this is over the road. Right. Okay. Um, look, I'm just cycling through the tractors because I can't decide what I'm going to do. Right. As you can see, I have sped up time. Uh, so times 30 and I did increase the plant growth because I wanted to make give us something to do which would be obviously harvesting the harvesting the um, the wheat and barley uh, we got barley and corn sorry but um, that doesn't appear to be the case they're not ready yet so while we're waiting for that let's use this bad boy and we might as well start collecting some uh, some grass I feel like we're, we're, we're far too many tractors, really, aren't we? Um, now, this is maybe a stupid idea, but does that connect to a forage wagon? Will, will that connect? No. No, no, it won't. Okay, I just thought I just thought I saw something on the connector on the back there, but no. Wow, this is a little bit top heavy, so um. We'll have to go steady on it because she feels like she wants to tip over. Right, how do we? Where is the gate out of this? Ah, there it is. I've gone straight past it. Right, let's go to the paddock. Whoa, gate opens that way. Right, is this our paddock? I take it. Um, paddock two. Okay. Because it's a paddock, I, I'm guessing, and it's marked as such. I think it's free to plow, up, uh, free to to cut. Oh, here we go. Oh wow. Oh, this is this is the kitty. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is brilliant. This little thing here. Let's get in here. Right. Uh, let's X fold mower down. Turn mower on. B. And boom, boom. We need to drop that lift mower V. Oh no, drop mower. Excellent. G to get the front one selected. Unfold. Switch on. 
and uh, drop. Okay. Let's just get this bad boy moan. We will need a a tether and a um, a windrower. So that's what some of the equipment we don't have, but. I'm not too worried at this point because we can always sell a tractor or two because we've got so much equipment, it's fantastic. Right, we can probably um, whack it up a speed. Yeah, it's a beautiful map, isn't it? A beautiful map. And uh, yeah, what we'll probably do, we'll get the, um, the grass cut. Oh, I'll leave that tricky little corner, there's no point. We'll get the grass cut, we'll get some... Um, grass stored away and then we can um, look to get some sheep and some cows just so we can feed them and uh, obviously we need to feed the pigs as well the pigs will probably have grass and um, straw and the muck yeah pigs eat anything don't they don't have to worry about pigs yeah they look after themselves very low maintenance as a as a creature. Well, I say that they're not, but <laughs> they're not that fussy when it comes to food. Also, I've been led to believe I'm not a huge pig expert. Oh, we're making short work of this. I know I'm missing the odd bits here and there, but in the grand scheme of things, it makes little difference. I'm missing quite a lot actually but it's fine let's just slow down a touch my OCD has started to kick in saying I'm missing too much so yeah okay that wasn't the best corner as, as, as you saw I, I didn't use the full cutting potential of our of our machine but it's okay don't worry it'll be all grown back in a in a second so we there we go yeah we'll make short work of this can we go to speed three and cut no too fast, too fast. I thought it might have been. Meep, 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 meep. Okay, speed two forward. Uh, what have we got in the... In the... Old, oh, let's have a quick look at the prices as we, we're cycling through. Um, okay, realistic-ish, realistic prices as well. So that's quite good. So there, that, that is good actually. Um, oh, I'm not using the blade again. Let's just go to finances. We don't have. Okay, so we're complete. That is 25 grand profit. No loans, no nothing. So that's good. Statistics. We have. Oh, we got about 4.3 liters. Oh, 4,300 liters of um, wheat. 4,900 liters of barley. Two. Well, just under two and a half thousand liters of canola. Seven, uh, sorry, 4,700 litres of corn and uh, 15,500 of potatoes and 26,000 of sugar beets. So we can get those sold uh, straight away because there's no point unless we wait on a sale or a great demand at one of the um, sale points, which is uh, it's where you can maximise your profit doing that, but. Yeah, I don't know. We do need a wind rower and a tedder, and we want them reasonably big because these are quite impressive sized paddocks. What happened there? Don't know. Okay, let's tidy this little patch up.
Is that wide enough to cover it all? Not quite, but it's good enough. Ah. Uh, let's go off there. Oh, I butchered that really badly, didn't I? Oh, I was trying to be clever, and it just didn't work. Right, my OCD is going to kick in now, and I can't leave that bad a piece, so let's just tidy this up. I can leave the odd patchy bits, but not that bad. Not that bad. There we go. There we go, that's better. Uh, we might as well just spin around and take this. <laughs> now my OCD's kicked in. We might as well just tidy this up. Wee. The odd tuft here and there, that's fine. I'll just tidy this up and that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay. So let's go. B, B. Go G, B, B. X. Okay. Um, I think that'll be enough for now. We don't need to do this little paddock, we'll leave that for next time because this looks a bit trickier is it ok that way? no now the gate opens that way, yes it does, good let's stick these uh, oh no they were, ok well that's that done um, right let's have a quick look, how's Right, let's um, slow the crop down because they're ready for harvesting. So let's go down to five, normal, okay. Right, so we need, let's get the, well looking at the way the headers are stored, we've got the corner, uh, the wheat header first and then we've got the corn header stacked at the back. So we better do the, the barley first then. Just for sheer practicality. Drive this bad boy in. Clunk click. Excellent. Oh. Terrible rearward uh, visibility on this thing. Right, let's stick the uh, the beat guns on. Flashy flashy. Here we go. Okay, it's got just under 9,000 lit uh, 900 liters in fuel, so we shouldn't need to fill it up anytime soon. But they are—they're fairly hefty fields, aren't they? So um, let's get right. How? What is the shape of this field? There is. Okay, so we want to be going down the field. Uh, if that makes sense. So let's go. Um, Back this bad boy up. And forward we go. And we're gonna, we want to go this way. Oh, wow, look at that. That is beautiful sight. That's pure money, that is. Wonderful. Right, let's hire a, a worker. Oh, and there he goes. He's, he's got more of a, a feel for it than I have because he's shot off at a greater rate of speed. Um, up, oh, la, jumping over. I love jumping over the fences. We'll just get the this little bad boy. We're going to get the tipper trailer and park that outside, ready to unload. What's the weather forecast? Uh, oh, it's going to be fine. No need to worry. Right, we'll leave you there for now. Um, what we might do is get one of these bad keep saying bad boys, stop saying bad boys to get one of these Hurleyman 
and we'll just get the the, uh, the baler. We'll let the uh, the combine go for a couple of strips, and then we might as well get him baling behind it. There you go. Look, we've all burst into action. The whole farm. It's a ram baler, um, and our bale fork is at the pig farm, which is to the south. So we, we'll have to bring that tractor up, actually, unless we buy another tractor. Um, yeah, oh, look at that. I, I drove straight past the all the straw. Ah, oh, and this is one of those ones you just cannot reverse. So it's far easier just to do a whole circle. Oh, and he's, I'm stuck on the edge. Clipping on the edge. This is a little bit out, but no, it's fine. Right, and you, there you go. We'll park him there, so there's plenty of room to manoeuvre around him. And how's that combine? Make sure... There he goes. It's fifty percent full. Okay, brilliant. We time that is measured almost perfection. So one run. Wow, look at the size of that field. Wow, and there's a little bit, bit of a dog leg at the end. Wow. So it's fine. On the uh, when he comes back down this end, we'll need to unload him because I think that's pretty much him f completely f um, full. Can we do a, a spin round in this type? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. That's unforgiving, that hedge. The blackberry head. A black. I don't know what it is. The blackberry? I don't know. Black current. We might need to move that Hurley one. Yeah, we'll move the Hurley one. Oh, all, all great plans of mice and men, as they say, never work. <laughs> they don't say that, but... Right, this is a private land. This definitely looks like private land, so I'm not worried about blocking anything up. Ah, what a beautiful summer's day. It's a really good thick yield as well, isn't it? Really good. Here she comes. Yep, he's getting ready. I'll get him as he turns round, I think. As long as he makes it that far. Nom 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 nom. God, look at that eating all that. Oh, I wish Axim was this smooth. You miss you're missing a bit. Fine. Right, we need to get into position. Oh, he's just snagged the hedge. Okay. Okay, he's 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 snagged. He's snagged. He's snagged. Oh whoa 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 whoa. Oh no, he's figured it out, he's figured it out. Okay. He's figured it out. Good man. Oof. Yeah. He's not the um He's he's trying to use brute force to get through. But we'll we'll uh, unload him while he's waiting. And while he's figuring out what he's gonna do next. And do you know what? I'll probably leave this video here for now. Um, we'll pick this up next time. I, this was just basically an introduction to the the old Brook Farm. I hope you enjoy it. If you if you if you've decided no, this isn't the right map to use, then let me know and uh, happy to change it if that's what we want. And uh, oh, he sorted himself out. Oh, good man. Uh, and he's off again. Fantastic. So yeah, let me know if, you, if you're if happy for me to continue on this map. And um, yeah, we'll pick up next time. We'll complete the harvest on this field. And 
yeah, well, we need to go and work on that paddock. We need to go and get some uh, wind rowers and some tedders and get that that grass. I think for now we'll just um, we'll wind row it, row it into lines and collect it as grass, and uh, then we can look to get some hay later. But um, yeah, for now, this has been Farming Simulator 2013 on the Old Brook map, and I have been Taff in Exile. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.